Right now at noon, gunfire erupting in Northwest Miami-Dade early this morning. And a man is in the hospital after he was shot. And local 10 News reporter Trent Kelly is actually live at that scene for us. He talked with the victim's relatives. Trent. Yeah, Janice, that shooting happening before sunrise here, busting out one of the windows here of this car, which family members say belongs to that victim. That man now in the hospital undergoing surgery as investigators continue to try and figure out who exactly pulled the trigger. <laughs> Neighbors describing the gunshots after a man was rushed to the hospital following an early morning shooting in Northwest Miami Dade. The bullets piercing the passenger side window of this black Chevy Cruze believed to belong to the victim. Miami Dade police responding to the scene around 6 this morning after officers got an alert from a gunfire detection device near Northwest 44th Street and 21st Avenue. Paramedics finding one man suffering from a gunshot wound before taking him to the hospital where he later underwent surgery. Can you tell us what, what's going on? No, they just called me. I don't know. I don't know. I have no idea. It's just my, my baby brother. He just called me and told me that, that it's bad news. The victim's brother later arriving at the scene, identifying him as 60-year-old Rodney Boykins. He says the black car that was shot up belongs to his brother, who normally leaves for work around the same time the shooting took place, adding he doesn't know why anyone would want to hurt him. No trouble at all. I don't know what the meanings of this. this I don't know what this Going on Detectives spending all morning searching for evidence, even using a dog to sniff the car for clues. So far, a description of the shooter has not been released, with the motive still unclear. Just keep us, keep the family in prayer. Can you tell us? Now, we did see detectives earlier this morning returning to the scene not long after they left, asking any neighbors here for potential surveillance video. So far, though, no word of any arrests. If you have any information that could help investigators out, contact Miami-Dade PD. For now, that is the latest live from Northwest Miami-Dade. I'm Trent Kelly, Local 10 News.